everybody, I'm Terry Doherty with the Mom's Choice Awards and I'm here today with Cheryl Waddell and Fern Machonsky talking about Rock Riding, their Christmas book. The first thing I noticed about the book was this gorgeous rocking horse. I mean, it took me back to my childhood. What is it about a rocking horse that makes it such a neat part of the story? Well, there is a resurgence of the rocking horse these days and many children and adults had rocking horses when they were children. And that actually happened to me when I first read this story and Cheryl had written it. It could have been written about myself because my favorite toy when I was a child was a rocking horse. And then when I grew up, I thought, well, do I need this anymore? And it got thrown away. And I still have the image of this rocking horse on a trash heap going to the dump and I was devastated. But years later, I was walking by an antique store and there was my rocking horse on the sidewalk. And my son was with me, ran in and said, how much is that? And the lady said, why? So he told her about that story, Rock Riding, and about my rocking horse. She gave it to my son and I got my rocking horse back. That is not a Christmas story, but Rock Riding is. What is it about Rock Riding? One of the things in Rock Riding is that Christmas don't have any Help me with this. I can't. Christmas wishes haven't any nevers. So what do you mean by Christmas wishes haven't any nevers? The wishes do come true, but it takes a bit of magic and a lot of love to see that they do. That's really neat. I like that idea that it's, you know, nothing, everything is possible. And I guess my next question is, this is a Christmas story. But yours is not a Christmas story. Would it be a book that you could use all year round? Absolutely, yes. In fact, people have purchased that book and their children want it read all year round. It's irrelevant that it's got a Christmas theme to it. But there's a magical part of that rocking horse that Rock Riding has to make a choice. There is a wish that has to be made and that's what ties it into the Christmas theme. But this is an all year round book, absolutely. So Fern said she had read this story. What prompted you to turn it around and make it a published book with a soundtrack? Well, this is a story that began with an, the inspiration was that I had bought a rocking horse ornament for my firstborn nephew as a Christmas gift. And I wanted to wrap that ornament in an aura of enchantment that would last year after merry year. And I was thinking about how I might do this. And as I was thinking about that, I asked the question, what if, as I'm looking at the ornament, and in a burst of inspiration, Rock Ryden came into being. That's a really neat story. Does your nephew know about the inspiration that it was that ornament? Oh, yes. This has now become a family tradition. <laughs> this book and the ornament is now being handed down to the next generation. That's really cool. How did we come about putting a song with this? That was because when I met Cheryl, I was the music teacher at her school, and I told her I was writing a CD for children of Christmas. And I said, can I read your story? And when I did, I cried. And I said, can I write the theme song? And that theme song is on my kids' Christmas Fern CD that was chosen a top kids' picks by USA Today. Congratulations. So we have a multi-award winning team right here. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you all were able to stop by. I hope you have a great BEA. And thank you for sharing the story of Rock Riding. Wonderful work. Mom's Choice has been awesome. That's always good to hear.